The next principle is instrument stabilization. When we say instrument stabilization, it is how stable is the instrument within our hands and also how stable the instrument is when we are working on the patient. So here we have two parts, instrument crass and finger rest. Let's talk about finger rest. The correct finger rest for instrument stabilization is modified pen grasp. In modified pen grasp, we use three fingers, that is index finger, middle finger and the thumb. The index finger is bent at the second joint and it is on the handle. The next finger is the thumb and the middle finger is on the shank of the instrument. Thumb and index finger is on the handle of the instrument, whereas the middle finger is on the shank of the instrument. By holding the instrument in modified pen grasp, we create a tripod effect. It is the same effect as in a tripod, wherein uh, the photographer uses to stabilize the camera, wherein here we use the same principle for stabilizing the instrument. So even if I try to move this instrument in any direction, it is firmly held in my hand and it doesn't move. Uh, it, it doesn't get discharged from my hand. So when we do the scaling, we would be exerting lateral pressure on the tooth surface. So at that point of time, the instrument shouldn't slip from our fingers. That is the reason modified pen grass will be helpful to hold the instrument stably in our hand. The next grasp which we use in um, periodontics is palm and thumb grasp. This of course we don't use it for scaling. This grasp is held when we sharpen the instrument. In finger rest further we can divide into intraoral finger rest and extraoral fulcrums. Intraoral finger rests are four conventional, cross arch, opposite arch and finger on finger rest. Conventional finger rest is when we use adjacent tooth or adjacent area for establishing finger rest. Let's say I am operating on one one. My finger rest is on one two. This is conventional finger rest. If I use the opposite side of the same arch, let's say I am doing scaling on the second quadrant but my finger rest open little wide my finger rest is on the first quadrant this is cross arch if i am doing scaling on the lower teeth but my finger rest is on the upper teeth this is opposite arch the last one is finger on finger rest wherein I'll be using one of the finger of the non operating hand sometimes i may need more height of the tooth to establish finger rest. This is finger on finger rest. One of my finger of the non-operating is hand is on the tooth of the patient and I am establishing finger rest over that finger. So this is finger on finger rest. 